The ninth planet is not Pluto. It is a dwarf planet since it hasn't cleared its orbit, meaning it is under the influence of other larger objects. And there are more than hundreds of dwarf planets in the solar system that are spherical and orbit the sun, like Pluto. So we cannot call them all just planets. Dwarf planet fits the category better. But this does not mean that the actual ninth planet is not out there in the solar system. There is strong evidence for its existence, so it would be weird if it does not exist. So the discovery of a dwarf planet Sedna taught us quite a bit. First of all, it's a dwarf planet that at its furthest is 930 times more further away from the sun than the earth is. And it needs 11,400 years to complete a full orbit around the sun, meaning a year on the dwarf planet Sedna is 11,400 Earth years. And the reason for such a long year is because the orbit of Sedna is not circular, it is very elongated. And this could not just be a coincidence, since there are many other objects such as asteroids and comets at the same distance that also have extremely elongated orbits which swing in one direction. The only explanation for such a thing even happening is that there is a ninth planet that is maintaining their weird orbits. Otherwise, this could not happen. Now, the thing is that we still haven't seen the planet directly. It may seem like it is so far away that it basically cannot be seen, since the sunlight doesn't reach it as much. But actually, based on our estimates, it should be visible, since there are powerful enough telescopes to see it. So with seeing how much of a large influence it has on other objects in its neighborhood, we can estimate that the ninth planet should be less than the mass of Neptune, but more than the mass of the Earth. So this puts its diameter at 26,000 kilometers, meaning it is larger than the Earth in size. Most likely it is a gas giant, or a planet in a transition between a terrestrial planet and a gas giant. The full complete orbit around the Sun should take the planet between 10,000 and 20,000 years. It should have a highly elliptical orbit, and at its furthest from the Sun, it should be around 1,200 times more further away from the Sun than the Earth. Now, that distance is so huge that the only way to approach it is with light speed. So light, traveling at the fastest speed in the universe, would need 7 days to get from the Sun to the planet 9. Meaning from the planet 9, while looking at the Sun, you would see the Sun as it was 7 days in the past. Same would go for the Earth. From planet 9, at its furthest while looking at the Earth, you would see our planet 7 days in the past. And if we locate the planet 9, then a mission to the planet with a probe won't be extremely long, around 20 years. That is, if the probe uses the Sun as a gravity assist basically like a slingshot, allowing the probe to achieve extreme speeds. Then the mission will take 20 years. So the ninth planet is still not located, but the strong indication of its presence shows us that there is something big in the depths of the solar system, disrupting the way objects go around the sun. It is also likely that it will be discovered during this century, maybe even in a couple of years. Such a discovery will mark this time with something quite important.